We were high and dry yet again today, much like most of the past week or so, but unlike the last uh, week or so, we weren't in the 90s today. A nice little change in the weather and that more comfortable weather sticking around for the day tomorrow. 7 a.m. starting out pretty nice. 58 degrees, partly cloudy skies for uh, the midday hour going to be around 80 degrees. Warming up pretty nicely, partly cloudy. 3 o'clock, 84 degrees. Seasonably warm day. Pretty nice weather in store for us. Our severe weather index is low because I'm just expecting the comfortable weather to stick around the seasonable weather and the partly cloudy skies. And that's Really the big story, just going to be staying comfortable for the next couple of days, a market departure from the kind of air that was in place over the past week straight. And take a look at the dew points around the low 60s over the course of the overnight hours tonight into the low to mid 60s tomorrow, but that's not even that bad because when it comes to those dew points, if you're anywhere between 60 and 65 degrees, it's still very pleasant. You got to wait till you get up closer to 70 degrees before it starts to feel humid outside. Let's take a look at some places around the area to Appleton. Pretty nice sunset there. 77 degrees is your current temperature. Oshkosh, another nice sunset there. Not too many clouds. 70 degrees at the current hour. As we move into Sturgeon Bay, a little bit further north there, but still 72 degrees. Lots of sunshine. Marinette, I believe, was a little bit cooler than some other spots. Oh, not anymore. Sitting at 73 degrees. They had been in the upper 60s, I believe, earlier this evening. 72 in Green Bay, 73 in Fond du Lac, 74 Wausau. Really, no matter where you go in the state, you're seeing fairly clear skies overhead as well as very comfortable air in place. That very warm, sticky air got pushed way off towards our south and you can kind of see it in some clouds and storms that are kind of hovering along the Ohio River Valley. That's where that heat got trapped and that's where it's going to be staying for the near future. So here's a look at your future track. We're going to be seeing very quiet weather overnight tonight. And I think tomorrow nice and quiet as well. Now future track really wants to push through a little weak cool front later on in the day tomorrow towards the evening hours. I think this is held up a little bit further north and I think it waits until at the very earliest, the early morning hours on Monday to move on through. And then as that front continues to move on past us, I think it weakens, kind of peters out. So we might see a couple showers early on Monday before I think we clear out to just partly cloudy skies. And we see temperatures, I think, actually take a bit of a step back. 58 for the overnight hours tonight, 84 for the day tomorrow. We are dry. And then for Monday, 80 degrees, partly cloudy, a few isolated storms in the morning as that front pushes on by. Your three-day forecast, still 80 degrees on Tuesday, mostly sunny conditions. And as we move through the rest of your extended forecast, we're at 83 on Wednesday, 85 on Thursday. But all of those days, despite the temperatures warming back up, we are mostly sunny. Moving into Friday, I think we got a chance to see a couple scattered storms out there. And temperatures warming up just a little bit more. It might also start to get a little bit more humid towards the end of uh, this upcoming work week. But for the near term, nice and dry. Temperature is very seasonable. So some pretty nice weather that we're going to be seeing. Good to hear. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Phil. Mm -hmm. Thanks.